Well, good day, folks. Today is going to be just a short video. I've had uh, some requests from some of my subscribers to do uh, a, a video about writing scenes, like specific landscape type scenes in westerns, how, how to do it, and some suggestions on that. So I thought I'd better take the time and do that one. I'll get back to playing some guitar stuff very, very shortly. But uh, as far as writing scenes for your Western, uh, where you're describing landscape and such, I've kind of done, done a different video on that in the past about uh, one thing about that. There's basically three. There's three things that you got to keep in mind when you're describing scenes, uh, landscape, uh, and, and setting, setting the, uh, the setting, basically, from, for where you're at in your, in your novel. The first thing is, don't make it three pages long. Don't talk about the sunset for three pages. Anybody can see if it drags on and on, it's just a filler and it's the most boring thing you could possibly do. The second thing is I like to um, basically describe that kind of stuff through the eyes of a character, uh, very subtly. Um, Probably the best way to, to do that would be to read something uh, from one of my books. There's, uh, there's, a, there's a good scene in, in The Brethren Elders where I, 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 I describe the landscape and uh, how, it, how it pertains to where the characters are going and that. that, that there's there's got to be a, there's got to be a direction as to why you are also, I think, describing landscape and the area around the, the, the scene uh, that your characters are involved with. The third thing uh, is I think very important as well too is that be careful and do your research as to what uh, certain things were called. Uh, like for example in my book The Brethren Elders and I'll, I'll just I'll find it in my book here shortly and then I'll, I'll just read that brief thing to you. Uh, there's a spot there where the characters come across uh, in the distance in Arizona. They see three mountain peaks uh, close to Flagstaff, and those three mountain peaks were called uh, the San Francisco Peaks. The San Francisco Peaks, they were called. For whatever reason, the San Francisco Peaks. And I did my research and found out, yes, they were called the San Francisco Peaks, even in 1866. Uh, so I mentioned that, he, uh, my, my character had a map, and I mentioned that in, in the book, that these were the San Francisco Peaks. And then from there the characters went straight south, and they went into the uh, Sedona area. Well, Sedona wasn't Sedona until 1902, so you've got to be careful that you don't describe names or, or towns that didn't exist in the period uh, of, your, of your novel, of course. So the way I did that was just basically really describing the red rocks uh, of the area to kind of give you know, the idea and, and the reader an idea of, hey, I know where this is. This is in the Sedona area, you know, back in, in, in those days before it was Sedona. So I'll find that passage here real quick and I'll read it to you and then uh, that'll be basically my tips on that kind of stuff. So just hang on one sec. All right, so here we are back again. Um, my book, The Brethren Elders, you can find it on Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, all the Amazon sites across the world, Barnes & Noble, Indigo Chapters, all that kind of stuff. Um, so here's, here's this, uh, this description here, and it's a lot briefer than I even thought it was, but anyway, here we go. So, according to Jake's crude map, they were the San Francisco Peaks. The desert was vast and flat for the most part. Off in the distance, there were a half dozen high mountains visible to the naked eye. So, according to Jake's crude map, they were the San Francisco Peaks. For no other reason than wanting to see similar country as home, 
the three travelers missed their familiar Rockies after dealing with a hot desert climate. That's all I mentioned of it there. And then a few pages later, um, I've got it here. The three of them had traveled southwest from the San Francisco peaks. They rode through beautiful red rock mountains with no trouble from natives. That's it, just basically red rock mountains. That's Sedona, that's the Sedona area. But again, you can't mention it you, unless it's in the time period of your, of your setting, you've got to be careful of that kind of stuff. So basically that's it, uh, keep it short, uh, really short. You know, sometimes you can, I think, you know, go a little farther than that and I, I have done in the past as well too in other, in other books where you're describing uh, the area that someone sees you know, for the first time. And, uh, but again, I like to do it through their perspective, through their eyes, uh, as opposed to just the writer, you know, the author, whatever, trying to describe it to the reader. I think it just makes it more interesting. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, check me out on jwcollinsauthor.com on my website. You can have access to all my books there, my free downloads for a couple of short stories. Are available. I have a free short story, Wounded Horse, which is available on Amazon.com and .ca, all those Amazon sites, all the time. And uh, next, I'm going to do another uh, guitar video here pretty quick. Uh, I'm just having some work done on my strap. Really looking forward to getting that back, having some prep work done on it. Anyway, until the next time, have the best day you can. See ya.